In this video, you'll be learning how to make six DIY dotting tools with materials you have laying around the house. In almost every nail video I see, they say to use a dotting tool, which can become pretty pricey. So I've come up with six ways that you can get the same look for a lot less. So let's get into it. Way number one is using a bobby pin. A lot of people know about this, so this is more of a common one. But what you do is you basically unfold the bobby pin and so it's more like a, a triangle shape. And I'll be showing you how all these dots on a piece of paper because I just did my nails which are in my last video so check that out if you want to see my nails. So this just makes the basic dots. Um, pretty straightforward dots. They're a good size. This is a very good alternative. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's a very reliable one. The second one is to use a paintbrush. I bought this paintbrush at Hobby Lobby for 50 cents, and instead of using the actual paintbrush, I always end up using the end of it. This is what I did for about two years until I discovered some other ways. So you just take the end and dip it in the nail polish and this will give you kind of bigger dots but you can buy smaller paint brushes and you can use even the ones that just come in like watercolors. So this is a really easy way that you could do. The third way is to use a nail. This nail has um, a small end, small head, I guess is what you would call it. Um, you can get bigger nails, but these are just tiny nails that you'd use to like hang a picture frame. And this will give you bigger dots than the past two that I've shown you. So sometimes you do need a bigger dot for your design. So this doesn't always work, but if you want a bigger dot, you could use the head of a nail. The fourth way is a toothpick. I feel like this is the most common way that people automatically think of is, oh, I'm just going to use a toothpick, but this is my least favorite way. I think it's a lot harder to use and control, and the dots you get with it are just so small, but I figured I'd throw it in because it's always an option, just never one for me. The dots you get are really small, and I feel like there are so many other better ways to do it than a toothpick. So you can see right here how small they are compared to every one of the other ways. The fifth way is using a pencil and some pins. Here I have small, medium, and large pins. I got these on my mom's sewing kit and they're very easy to find. I bet they're under a dollar at a craft store. And then you also need a pencil that has an eraser. I usually use a mechanical pencil, but any pencil will work as long as it has an eraser. So what you do is you take the pen and you basically just stab it into the eraser. And this looks a lot like the dotting tools that you would buy at the store because it, they're like a rod with a ball at the end. So this is pretty much what it is. So here I'll show you what the large pen dots look like. This is the one I use most often. I just find that this is the size that I like to use the most. Next is the medium pin. There's not that much of a size difference, but instead of just switching them out, I usually just always use the large. But there are those dots. you can see in comparison that they really aren't that much different. And then lastly, using the small one, which is, I feel is a lot like the toothpick, just a little bit bigger. 
So not one of my favorites because I tend to use more bigger dots than smaller dots, but it's always an option. So there's all three of them in comparison. And the sixth way is not really a dotting technique, it's more of a circle technique, but I really like it. So basically you take a straw and I cut my straw because you don't need the whole length of the straw. So just take a little section of a straw and you see that on the end it's a perfect circle. So this will give you a circu circular design, which I think is cool a lot of the times. It's abstract and more different and it's very easy to do instead of trying to draw actual circles. So basically you just swirl it around and make sure that all the outsides get covered with the polish and then you just dot. I should have got rid of this bubble because this dot is actually filled in which I've never seen happen before but just ignore that because the rest of the circles are what it will look like and you can use all different colors and really make a cool design. So comment below if you want a request using this straw technique. So here are some of the circles and what they look like. Again, ignore the blob. I don't know what happened there. So here are all the nail designs we've tried. This was the pens inside of the pencil eraser. We did the more abstract version with the straw. And then finally we had many other ways with all household items. This is a really useful video in my opinion because dots can be used to enhance any nail design and it shows that you don't need to go out and buy an $8, $10 dotting tool when you can make it all in your home. So thank you so much for watching and please comment below on which one would be your favorite technique to use and let me know if you have any requests using any of these types. Also be sure to check out my other videos on my channel LoveBeautyX17 and you can see how I did the nails that I have in this video. And don't forget to subscribe! Here are the nails that I have. I did a review on the Broadway Impress Press-On Manicure. So go check that video out. I highly recommend these and you can see more about that on my channel.